Good evening, Priscilla Sean, to you both. In March, Governor Doug Ducey signed a 15 week abortion ban with the lone exception for a medical emergency. That is slated to take effect soon. But if the Supreme Court overturns Roe v. Wade, that could mean a whole new fight in our state over abortion rights. Arizona is one of five states with a retroactive abortion ban. The minute that Roe is overturned, it is illegal in Arizona to perform or obtain an abortion. Before the Roe v. Wade decision in 1973, abortion was illegal in Arizona, except in cases where the life of the mother was at risk. That law is still on the books in Arizona, and there are concerns this state would shift back to that if the Supreme Court decides to overturn the landmark case in the coming weeks. We're going to see more people having to cross state lines and uh, take matters into their own hands, and you're not going to have a safe solution. Only weeks ago, Governor Ducey signed a 15-week abortion ban into law, with the lone exception being a medical emergency. U of A law professor emerita Barbara Atwood says if the Supreme Court guts Roe v. Wade, there will likely be a push in our state to return to the way things were in 1972. Some of the sponsors of the Arizona law uh, have argued that it actually expressly says it doesn't it doesn't overrule this prior uh, absolute ban on abortion except to save the life of the mother. So that's going to be a question of contention. There's going to be difference of opinion and probably litigation. So we don't know what the future holds. What I do know is I have signed a law in Arizona. It will become law 90 days after the session ends, and that's how we're going to proceed. If there is a change at the federal level, there's likely more action that will be necessary. But let's understand the situation before we speculate. As we wait for the final decision from the high court, both sides unwavering in a fight that has stretched half a century. We do think that adoption is the best option. And uh, of course, we're also interested in, from a legal and political perspective, totally ending abortion in America. It's America's sin, the greatest sin we've had since the era of slavery. In society, people really count women out. Whenever we're talking about some sort of regulation, it all comes down to us, and we're not going to allow that to happen. There is too much at stake. Amy Fitch. And this new abortion ban after 15 weeks that the governor signed on March 30th has no exceptions for rape or incest. In studio, I'm Eric Fink, News 4 Tucson.